Good morning. My name is Suzanne McAllister, and I am with the PAW Project, Post Animal Use World Project, and Vegan Spirituality Group of Philadelphia. It is March 29th, 2024, and I'm here with Carla Mariani and Linda Batiste, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them in a moment. But we're doing this recording because when Anne, my collaborator, and I started the post-animal use world a few years ago, our goal was to create, uh, was to collect people's visions of a post-animal use world. And our hope was that in addition to written visions, we might inspire others to create works of art. And I am happy to say that my two guests today have done just that. So I have known Carl and Linda for over a decade, and we met through the Vegan Spirituality Group of Philadelphia. And I'm pleased to announce that they are going to be the Paw Project's next featured visionaries. And previous visionaries are Gene Bauer of Farm Sanctuary, Salish Rao of Climate Healers. So they're in very good company and we are in very good company with them. So I'm excited to introduce you to them as they have created a vision in a different form, which you're gonna learn about soon. So welcome Carla and Linda. Thank you for making time Thank for you. today. <laughs> And for agreeing to the interview to share your story. So can you tell me about your evolution as collaborators in which uh, it's called the Justice Seekers, I believe is the name of your, your duo. Is that right? Yes. So yeah. tell me a little bit about your evolution, um, both as musicians and then as collaborators. And whoever wants to start, go ahead. So uh, I guess I could start, Carl, and then feel free to jump in. So this okay. is Linda. Linda speaking with the long, dark hair. Yeah. Uh, I um, am just so honored to be here, and I'm yeah, so thrilled about the Paul Project, Post-Animal Use World. So this is, this is wonderful and exciting uh, to be part of this kind of vision. Um, Carla and I met. Uh, at the Vegan Spirituality Group of Philadelphia at a, at a Thanksgiving celebration mm -hmm. uh, where people were getting up to sing and play the piano. And I knew that she was an amazing pianist and uh, that she was <laughs> completely dedicated to activism um, and standing up for the voiceless and for animals. And I approached her and said, hey, would you like to do some music together? I am a singer and a songwriter and I would love to get together with you. And uh, I think we started um, just, you know, very casually. It was a very long evolution over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we started to do uh, some uh, cover songs, peace songs at peace rallies and uh, not just uh, for animals, but right. also for other exploited uh, human beings and uh, war, anti-war rallies. And we um, eventually started to write, write music together. The video that we did for the Paul Project started when Carla came over to my house for dinner and she very casually said, I started a song. You want to look at it? Wow. Uh, and I sat down and I, I looked at it. And within, I think, 45 minutes, it just came out, which doesn't happen often. Sometimes yeah. I can ask, I've agonized a decade over a song. We wrote that song in under an hour. It came right out as if it was already composed wow. uh, by some higher power. And we... And, and it's just been such a pleasure. Then we hooked up through um, another group of vegan activists to meet Jordan Uter, who is our producer and recording studio uh, owner. And then my husband, Stephen Nizio, has been also producing and directing the song. So it's been 
just an absolute thrill to be part of this evolution. And we're working on another song for the Paul Projects. It's actually a series of songs. It's called the Compassion mm -hmm. Series, part one oh. and part two. And I I'm love that for, compassion series. It's yeah. called for the animals and it's, it's going to be, and then of course we were also inspired to do a video by you, Suzanne, um, who suggested yes. oh, we could do a video along with the song when it was done. And so here we are. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's gorgeous. And folks who are listening, you are going to get a link to the video with Carla and Linda performing the song called um, the time is has come or the time is now what is it the time is come the time is come very okay. consciously use that because we want to stress that it's happening right now it's not something in the future beautiful us are already of that consciousness so it already exists you know what i love that because you know in the title of pause post animal use world which is in it implies in the future but i love what you just said which is that your song is about now, what is happening now, what needs to happen now. Exactly. Yeah. So Carla, do you want to add to what Linda said about your collaboration? Sure. Um, I love everything you said, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's an honor to be here too. I feel that way too. And um, Suzanne, thank you for inspiring us and you and Anne being, you know, <laughs> The, the, the inspiration to create this this song and video and um so yeah so we um we called ourselves the justice seekers we at, at some point we came up with that idea to call ourselves that because we were doing a lot of you know lots, lots of different um activism and everything so we just it's a, a broad title yeah, and, and um, I'm trying that. to remember exactly when we came. You love that? You love well, that? Well, yes, and and you alluded to it, Linda, that the two of you are, you know, very active in many things, and as you said, mm -hmm. not just for the um, non-human animals who have no voices, but really for the earth. You know, they yes. you talked about exploitation of humans and of the earth. And so I, I know that the two of you get together and are, um, I don't know whether I would say politically involved, but involved in, in issues beyond uh, veganism and advocating for animals. It's, it's become very broad. And guess what? They're all connected. They're oh, all connected. absolutely. So and we um, feel that way too. We, we yeah, really do. I really honor what the two of you are doing and, um, and, the two of you inspire thank me you. as well. So um thank you. Thank you. I really yeah. wanted to just underscore, Suzanne, um, that we are nonpartisan because uh, you know, I think that's important is to focus on the issues mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. at any point, you know, one party might be, you know, doing things that hurt animals or exploiting certain peoples or whatever. So we are non nonpartisan. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. very important well, times, and, and we're for sure, yeah. Um, many of the ways that animals are exploited, um, there are people involved in that who are being exploited too. When I think about slaughterhouse workers, they are, um, you know, basically at the bottom of the barrel uh, in terms of of uh, socioeconomic, and it's pretty much well. This is the only job I can get. Um, and I think that goes beyond just, um, again, in the animal agriculture world where people are exploited. And then we all know the connection between animal agriculture and degradation of the earth. Um, so um, so you, you've talked about how you came uh, up with the idea for the name, the Justice um, Seekers. And when you went over to Linda's house for dinner and you um, created this song, had you written the instrumental, Carla? Is that how it started? Um, I think I think or I started writing the, the words. words. I started writing the words and I presented them to Linda, I and see. then we just took off from there. But we and had written a song before that too. We had for the uh, the vegan spirituality group. We okay. had written we had written a song. Um, so we already kind of, we, we were already like 
you know, have you, feeling have, like have you, you recorded, could do it. Yeah. Have you recorded that one? Well, we're going to record. That's the one we're going to, it's going to be next, okay. but we kind of, we kind of changed it. it it's evolved. Yeah. It's, e it's evolved. So you know, over time, but we did. So I was like, Oh, this is great working with Linda. You know, like she's so talented and we had that experience and, I, she, you know, her creativity is just wonderful. And her compassion, Linda's compassion, creativity is, is really wonderful. And she's such a joy mm -hmm. to work with and so talented. It's all true. Well, well and about the two of you, but yeah. And I, I know for me, I don't think that Paul would have happened if I didn't have a collaborator. So yeah. having a person that you depend on, that you share ideas with, that um, inspires you, um, I find that support, you know, invaluable. So I can yeah. imagine um, that the two of you have each other and I have Anne in, and, and the people who have gotten involved with Paul too. Um, what do you hope for when people hear the song? Hmm. That's such a great question. Yeah. Um, I, I can speak for my own journey over the past, you know, 10, 20 years. It was slow. My evolution was slow. And it came from exposure to viewing the world in a less indoctrinated way, in a different way. It was spending time with other vegans or being exposed to a video like we made that made me think, oh, wait a minute. You mean it's wrong to, you know, not wrong, but um, going to the zoo is, mm -hmm. you know, feeding into exploitation of animals. Oh, I hadn't thought about that before. So it was very slow over yes. the 10 years of spending time mm. with you that I've, and I'm still awakening. There's sure. still things that I, you know, shout out to the movie Christ mm -hmm. that we all went to see. Again, another spiritual awakening sitting in that movie where I became even more conscious of things. Yeah. So that time, it just takes time. It takes mm -hmm. gentleness. But um, that's your hope that it might open a doorway for somebody who listens to the song and and watches the images because I think the images that you have with the song are are really powerful and and beautiful. Um, but that's your hope. And what about you, Carla? Do you do you have a hope for how um, the song might um, impact people listening? I think it already has. Um... Great. impacted them <laughs> i feel that like there's such a, a um an enthusiastic response so far now mm. um now if it reaches people who are non-vegans like that's the thing like are non-vegans going to be watching it you know like so it may you know um now like linda was saying can, it can be slow uh, slow realization or evolution so if you know so i don't know um who who is going to be our you know who is going to be seeing yeah. it but i think especially with vegans and activists they're really already extremely enthusiastic yeah. um and um i yeah um that's a great so, point carla which is that i think all of us in the movement if i can use that term are always hoping that we're going to uh reach people who are not you know who who don't already participate or and because if we're just preaching to the choir, yeah. then it doesn't um, grow. But the hope is that somebody might see your video, hear your words, and and think, oh, that's something to think about. Yeah, and I that's right. And I think the video is very um, approachable. Like it's oh, there's yeah. a lot of so many different visions and like um, of photographs and you know and, and videos. Um, that um, I think that even if some, you know, somebody is a non-vegan, that they could relate to some of it and maybe, you know, put in the, you know, in, the, in their minds, like the consciousness of some of the cruelty, like might be harder to, you know, face. But I mean, I think there's, there's plenty in the song and in the video that people can relate to um, people who have, you know, animal companions and who yeah. just, you know, enjoy the peaceful world. 
And then um, whether it's going to inspire them to change in any way, like, I don't know, you know, what that's, but it, at least you're, it's, you're, it's planting seeds. It's planting exactly. Seeds. You're putting it out into the world. And right, right. We, we often don't know the impact we have because sometimes we don't hear from somebody for months or years later and they remember a conversation or they remember an image and they say, yes, when that happened, X happened. So, um, so if people want to follow either of you or the justice seekers on social media, do you have a way for them to do that? And is there something, I know I can post the link to the video, um, which is on YouTube, is that right? It is on YouTube, yes. Um, okay. We can certainly get that link to you. Good, okay. And, and um, yeah. That would be well, this is going to be, um, this interview will be on YouTube and it will also be um, a link in the PAW newsletter and then it will go out from there um, on Twitter, on Facebook. And so, um, and I will have the link to the video in all of those places. So thank you. I want to thank you both. Thank you for your creativity. Thank you for your hearts really more than anything yeah Aww. your hearts and your spirit and and everything you're doing and thank, thank you. you for making time this morning for this and i i'm so grateful to be able to introduce you to the um to the paw group so much, Suzanne. thank you thank you so much all right you. take care